Porskerne has a fascinating history. The first telegraph cable system of the Eastern Telegraph Company actually came into Porskerne in 1870. It connected to Malta and then joined up with cable systems that went from Malta to Alexandria and then from Suez to India. And it was the final part of the, of the submarine link between the UK and India, which in the Victorian era was you know, a significant part of the, of the British Empire. Porskerne became the, the, the focal point for, for multiple telegraph systems. This is now a museum. And, and now I'm also you know, fortunate to hold the position of a trustee director. People think that, that the majority of international communications is via satellite but that's very far from the truth. The amount of volumes of data that are required to be transmitted globally you know, can only be done over, over submarine cables. So uh, in excess of probably 98% now of international communications, both voice and data, is now carried out over the submarine cable network. I came into Vodafone as part of the acquisition of Cable & Wireless. I actually joined Cable & Wireless from school. I came down here to Porth Kerno and did a two-year apprenticeship here. I have worked for Cable & Wireless since 1974. I was very, very fortunate to work on the, the development of the Two Africa Cable Project. A few years ago, there was only two submarine cable systems that served East Africa. So we talked to a number of other parties who finally joined the consortium. We created the Two Africa Cable System, which is now being implemented. It's the largest cable system, uh, single cable system project that, that's been done in both in kilometres uh, and in terms of cost. It will take till 2023 for the East System and 2024 for the West System to be deployed. Vodafone owns a fibre pair on both the East African side and the West African side uh, and they've named it Sharp. The system honouring the, the achievements of Rick Perry, which is uh, a great honour. <laughs>